This video is a step-by-step -step guide to using the Russian Green 4BO AFV painting system from Vallejo. The AFV painting systems from Vallejo are complete sets of paints and weathering products designed to give contrast by using different shadings and colors to manipulate light and shadow to increase the depth of any project, resulting in a more realistic outcome of the finished model. In using the AFV painting systems from Vallejo, a modeler can adequately prime, paint, and seal any model in a particular genre that the sets of paints were designed for. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using the Russian Green 4BO set. Step 1. Primer. The Russian Green 4BO set comes with Vallejo's Russian Green number 609 primer. These primers typically do not need to be thinned before application. When applying the primer, you want to build up the color in evenly sprayed coats, building up the color over two or three light coats. It is best to apply the Vallejo primer in model air colors with an air pressure setting of between 12 and 15 psi. This will prevent clogging of the tip, which comes from the pressure being too high, as well as eliminating any unwanted overspray. I do not want to saturate the model with a primer coat. I will, however, fully cover the shadow areas as well as the creases and corners. This will provide a decent base for the paint as well as pre-shading of the model. As you see, the open areas and a lot of the horizontal features will have only a lighter coating of primer. Vallejo primer will dry quickly, but it will take between 12 and 24 hours for the primer coat to fully cure. The second step of the painting process is the application of model air color 18 black green. This application gets applied to the creases, corners, and around molded surface details. This coat is more of a pre-shade, adding shadow and definition to these areas. With model air colors, the paint does not need to be thinned. It is airbrush ready straight out of the bottles. With the model air colors, the air pressure setting should be between 12 and 15 psi. Step three is the application of model air color number 17, Russian Green. This paint is applied in light coats over the previous black green color. This is slightly out from the creases and corners. More of a full coverage can be used in the larger shadow areas, such as below the fenders and the front and back plates on the lower sections. Again, this is not full coverage of the model. As the layers are built up, each paint will increasingly cover the model, building up definition. Step four of the painting system is the application of model air color 223 green. With this application, the paint is applied more to the center of the panels, away from the creases and the corners.
This is the point where highlights are built up, as well as creating fine panel fading. Step 5 is the application of Model Air 225 Light Green. This step adds a bit of variation to the color. The use of small flat items, such as business cards or even post-its, can be used to temporarily mask an area to prevent overspray. This coat brings focus to the raised parts and open areas. Applying highlights to various areas gives depth and fading to the finish. Once done with all the painting stages, it is best to allow the paint to fully cure before applying any clear coats. Step 6 is the final step to using the AFV painting system. This is the application of a clear satin varnish. You should wait an additional 12 to 24 hours after applying the clear coat before you do any additional weathering. To add depth to your model, you can apply highlights to raised features by hand using the model air colors. With a sharp tip brush, apply the lightest highlighting color, number 225, light green, to the raised features. This color should be done somewhat randomly and not to cover large sections, but prominent features such as bolt heads, hinges, and edges to angles. To add a little more variation, use one of the darker colors in the set. You can try even mixing two to make transitional colors between the darker and the lighter tones.
In the end, always remember to protect your work. The Vallejo AFV painting system, along with the weathering sets, are all inclusive. This means that everything that the modeler needs is inside the set. From start to finish, there's primer, paint, and a satin finish to complete the models.